Right, I'm going to go through another example. So let's have another example. Let me call this example number two. Take a red pen, underline this. So question being, let's find the vector equation okay, of the line. So find the vector equation of the line uh, that passes through. So that passes through the points capital A. So the point has coordinates 1, 2, 1 and capital B coordinates 2, minus 1 and minus 1. Okay. And show that, so this is the second part, show that the point C, C has coordinates 0, 5 and 3 lies on the line. So let's go over this question. So I hope you can see that. So find the vector equation of the line that passes through the points A coordinates 1, 2, 1 and B coordinates 2, minus 1, minus 1 and in the second part show that the point C having coordinates 0, 5, 3 lies on the line. Okay. So remember in in one of the videos, so I did two videos, one of the videos was, to ha was showing you um, how to find the vector equation of the line passing through one fixed point and having a vector parallel to your line. And remember the formula for that is R equals A plus lambda M. And in another video, I explained how to work out the vector equation of the line passing through two fixed points, okay? So if you have two fixed points, the result being R equals A plus lambda B minus A. So over here, I've got two points, A and B, two fixed points in coordinate form. So we need to use the result R equals A plus lambda B minus A to work out the vector equation, okay? So in this case, A is one minus one as a coordinate, but as a position vector, it's one I plus two J plus one K, okay? B as a coordinate, it's two minus one minus one, so that's given, but as a position vector, vector OB is two I minus one J, minus 1k okay so we need to use these to work out the vector equation of the line so remember uh, in the last video so in one of the previous videos I, ex I explained work out b minus a first so remember the vector equation of the line in this particular case the formula was r equals a plus lambda b minus a but I suggest working out B minus A first, okay? So B minus A is, so B comes from the vector OB, 2I minus J minus K, minus an A coming from the vector OA is I plus 2J uh, plus K, okay? So if I add the like components, so if I add the i components, 2i minus i is i, minus j minus 2j is minus 3j, and finally minus k minus k is minus 2k. So that being the vector b minus a, okay? So once you've done that, you can work out the vector equation of that line. So let me continue over here. So the vector equation, okay, so I hope you can see that. So the vector equation of the line. So in this particular case, R is equal to A plus lambda 
B minus A. Okay, so R is equal to A, if we go back, A is I plus 2J plus K coming from the vector OA. Okay, so it's I plus 2J plus K. Okay, plus lambda and B minus A. B minus A is I minus 3J minus 2K. Okay, so I hope you can see that. So B minus A is I minus 3J minus 2K. So that is the vector equation. That is what we need. So that is what's needed in the first part of the problem. But if we go back to the question, we also need to show that the point C having coordinate 0, 5, 3 lies on this line. Okay. So remember the steps. Step number one is to write this vector equation in parametric form. So we need to write uh, find the parametric equations of this line from the vector equation. So if you know the pattern, x will be, looking at your fixed point vector here, uh, the coefficient of i is 1, so it's 1. And looking at your direction vector here, the coefficient of i in the direction vector is 1, so it's plus 1 lambda. So that is your equation for x. Now, y is equal to, looking at the fixed point vector, component of j in the fixed point vector is plus 2, and the component of j in the direction vector is minus 3, so it's minus 3 lambda. And for the z equation, looking at the k components, firstly, the fixed point vector component of k is 1, now looking at the direction vector, component of k is minus 2, so it's minus 2 lambda. Okay, These three equations are your parametric equations, but remember we need to rearrange for lambda. So if I call these equations 1, 2 and 3 respectively, so rearrange an equation 1 in terms of lambda, lambda will be x minus 1. If I rearrange equation 2 in terms of lambda, so let's have a look, lambda is going to be 2 minus y over 3. Okay, And if I rearrange equation 3 in terms of lambda, lambda is going to be 1 minus z over 2. Okay, So these are the equations for lambda in terms of x, y and z. That takes us to step four, uh, step two rather, so step two. Um, remember, step two is, so we need to substitute the coordinates for x, y, and z. So they are zero, five, three respectively into these equations for lambda. And if the values of lambda are all the same, that implies the point lies on our line. Okay, so let's do that. So the x value is 0, so if I replace the 0 in this equation here, lambda is going to be x is 0 minus 1, which is minus 1. And if I do the same, if I put y equals, the coordinate is 5, into the second equation, lambda is going to be 2 minus y, which is 5, divided by 3. 2 minus 5 is minus 3, over 3 is minus 1. And finally, if I put the z coordinate 3 into the third equation here, uh, lambda will be 1 minus z, which is 3, over 2. 1 minus 3 is minus 2, over 2, minus 1. Okay, 
So as you can see, the values of lambda are all the same. They're all minus one. That implies that the point C does indeed lie on the line. Okay, so since lambdas are all the same, therefore the point C having coordinate 0, 5, 3 lies on the line. So that completes this example. Okay. So here's the method. Here, here are the steps in order to prove if a point lies on your line. Uh, that ends this video. I hope you found this video helpful and I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you.